Press pause and answer the question. All right, so now we're looking at the same data, more or less, and it says on a sunny summer day with a temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit, researchers randomly select 40 cars, same as before, in an office parking lot. So remember, there were 240 cars in total. They selected 40. And they measure the backseat interior temperature, and after one hour found that the average temperature has a 95% confidence interval of between 120.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 125.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Based on this confidence interval, which of the following conclusions is more reasonable? And the correct answer is this one, that under these conditions, researchers are 95% confident that the true average temperature of cars in the parking lot on this day is between 120.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 125.5 degrees Fahrenheit after one hour in the sun. Now, what does this mean, 95% confidence interval? Well, as you might imagine, if they're trying to figure out how many people are watching a given television show, or if they're trying to figure out how hot, uh, what the average temperature is in a, in a car, they might not want to ask everybody. Right? They might want, want to test all 240 cars. There are lots of reasons why we take a sample and we test that sample and we try to draw some conclusions based on that sample. So if we had 240 cars in the parking lot and we just tested a sample size of two, so just two of the cars, and one of them was like way down here in temperature and one of them was way up here, our temperature, our average temperature between the two may be 123 degrees. But we're not going to be super confident about that, that the average temperature out of all 240 are going to follow that pattern. And the reason is twofold. One is we didn't test that many. We only tested two out of the 240. And the second problem is of the two we tested, one was pretty cool and one was really hot, and so maybe one of these was an outlier. And so even though our average is 123, we're not super comfortable saying that the average of the entire parking lot is 123 degrees. So our confidence interval, our 95% confidence interval in that situation might be quite large because we suspect that the average is somewhere in here but we don't know exactly where it is because we're just not that comfortable saying that. Now, if we tested all 240 cars in the parking lot, then we would have a confidence interval that was infinitely small. Our confidence interval would be like 122.9999999 you know, forever and then a one at the end. If we test them all, we know that our average that we got from our sample is, in fact, the true average in the parking lot. If we don't test that many and or if the ones we tested have temperatures that are scattered all over the place, then we're less confident that the average that we found is the true average and we have to broaden our range of where we're confident it's within. So we say we're 95% confident it's within some range. So if we test 40 of the cars out of the 240, then in this particular case, we're saying we're 95% certain that the average temperature is somewhere in this range. It's somewhere in this range between 120.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 125.5 degrees Fahrenheit.